Every day, trees are hard at work for us by reducing air and water pollution, storing carbon, and providing habitat for wildlife. Urban trees, however, are exposed to more extreme temperatures, flooding, and drought, which causes stress and reduces the benefits they provide. But the added and interactive stress due to climate change may mean that the benefits urban trees provide us could be severely impacted. Recent research has revealed that between 10 and 25 percent of urban tree species are susceptible to climate change. However, this research has centered on urban trees in parks and boulevards. These results may not be applicable to the suburbs since they're not managed by cities or municipalities like urban areas, but by individuals. One of the problems in identifying the most vulnerable subdivisions is the ever-evolving interaction between people and the environment. We evaluated the strength of this interaction by gauging people's capability to manage their environment in the face of climate change. Then we looked at different subdivisions and determined the proportion of trees vulnerable to climate change. Subdivisions likely to see the greatest impact to the benefits trees provide are where we find high proportions of vulnerable trees and low human capability. To capture some of the interactions between people and the environment through time, we looked at how the land was shaped in the past, either through changes in how the land was used or gardening trends, to see if there is a relationship with subdivisions that have more trees susceptible to climate change. To capture the socioeconomic complexity of the suburbs, we looked at incomes and proportions of minorities to see if there is a relationship with subdivisions that have a low capacity to adapt. Because climate change will not occur overnight, there's a delay before trees begin to decline and another delay before people recognize this issue and act in response. This means that the impacts on the benefits trees provide may be long-lasting. By better understanding the interactions between people and the environment under changing climatic conditions, decision makers can better prioritize where to allocate resources and the best actions to take for their most at-risk communities.